Hey guys, today I'm gonna make mermaid bath bombs and I'm gonna show you how I use my ElectroPress bath bomb maker. It's super cool, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I have my two bowls of dry ingredients already mixed up and ready to go. And I'm doing the mermaid bath bombs, which are two colors. Um, half of it is like a really pretty pale green and the other half is a really cool blue color. Um, I like to mix my own colors when I can because I'm an artist at heart and that's just what I love to do. So um, with these colors, I'm using Crafter's Choice Neon Blue Bayou Powder for the blue and then Neon Yellow Hello Powder for the yellow. And to create the green, I just mix the two together. And I have... Uh, my awesome green color that is perfect for mermaid. Um, it just, these colors remind me of the ocean and the sea and it just makes me feel happy. Um, and then I use the Crafter's Choice Bamboo Lotus scent. It's the fragrance oil and it's uh, really a fresh and clean scent and I really love it and my customers love it too. So let's get started. So I just mix my wet mixture into the dry and I am always so crazy about getting every last bit because making bath bombs is such a science that if you are too much of one thing or not enough of the other thing and it just won't work so I have to make sure that I get as much as I possibly can to have everything balanced and working properly in my recipe. Okay, so now I'm going to, as you can see, that's in there and I'm just gonna fluff the dry ingredient around. Oh no, I forgot to put my mask back on. Darn it. Hold on. Okay, I'm on. Um, all right, so then I just get it wet. All right guys, so I'm almost done. The way I can check is if I'm smushing it, and do you see those little spots? You don't really want to have too much of that. You want to smudge it and smear it and smush it until most of that's gone. I mean, you're not gonna get all of it, but those are just um, wet, particles that need to be blended into the dry and then you'll get a better solid ball at the end. So I think I'm done. Now I'm going to add my citric acid. Citric acid is kind of um, a serious ingredient. You don't want to inhale it. You don't want to get it in your eyes or any of that stuff. So you just have to be really careful with it when it's um, in its raw state. So I just fluff it around. Okay, now I'm ready to make my bath bombs. Aren't they so pretty? Look at the colors. I love them. Let's press them into bath bombs. So I take the base to my ElectroPress um, bath bomb maker. And you just sprinkle loosely into half and then sprinkle, you can kind of see, loosely here. And then I just kind of 
top it off a little. You don't ever want to pack it down or have it um, mounded up. You want it pretty flat. And then I just put it under there. I always wipe inside really quick with my hand, push up, pop it out. Give it a little tap. Wipe a little bit of that extra off. And then voila! We have a two-toned mermaid bath bum. Cool. All right, I got about nine more to make. So awesome. Oh no, I had one that split in half. So I'm just gonna try to scoop it back up. Oh, it's a miracle. That's never happened before. The part where I picked it up, not the part that <laughs> where it fell apart. Sometimes they fall apart. So I'll just smush this one back down. And probably give it to a friend or use it myself because it's not perfect. I didn't wipe the inside and now it's stuck. So the bath bomb got stuck in there. But I'm gonna try to do it again and see what happens. Darn. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to do them again. Just take it apart. Try to get the proper colors in the proper bowl. And then I'll just start over. Yay, it worked. Sometimes you just have to wipe everything down to get some of the stickies off and then your powder won't stick in there, so yay. All right, I got nine bath bombs and then I always have a little bit left. So I just dump it in. My mold. And press it down. And then I just press it down with my hand really hard. Here we go. 
And that's how I enjoy your bath bombs, or my bath bombs. I use the leftovers of your stuff, so. Um, okay, cool, so that's how I make my bath bombs. They're a mess, but they're fun, and I know you guys enjoy them, so thanks for watching. And they take about, um, I usually try to do, now that I'm living in Colorado, I try to do uh, at least a day and a half to dry fully, just to make sure that they're dry all the way through. Um, because I usually ship them out and then I need to make sure that they're not breaking, um, you know, in travel. So I need to make sure they're really hard before I send them. Um, but yeah, they're super fun. Great for all ages. And this one was my mermaid bath bomb. Okay, you guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.